it's more for less. Only seven months on from the Mini's Forum UM690, we've got a refresh of sorts with the UM773 Lite and over a 100 US dollar price drop to boot. This Mini now features AMD's absurdly named Ryzen 7 7... Ryzen 7 7735HS, whatever that means, which is an 8-core 16-thread CPU with Radeon 680M graphics. Sound familiar? Well, there's a few of them now. So, let's see where it falls in the performance stack. The Mini's Forum UM773 Lite starts at US$379 for the bare bones, which is what I bought for this review. I was so disappointed the Sakura Edition wasn't available. I wanted to stare at its luscious pink features while I... Are we still recording? So for my bare bones, I have to add DDR5 memory, storage, and an operating system to get it running. With the pre-builds, you'll get Windows 11 Pro. In the box is the UM773 Lite, manual, vertical stand, chunky power supply, 2.5 inch SATA storage expansion cable, spare rubber feet, and monitor mount. There has been an improvement in the stand, which used to be, well, crappy. It was hard to put the Mini in it, and the silicon would come off. Now it's fixed, finally. The Mini also weighs quite a bit more, and you'll soon see why. The front has a CMOS reset button, power, audio jack, USB 4, USB C 10 gigabit, and a digital microphone inside. The rear has a barrel jack power connector, 2.5 gigabit LAN, dual USB 3 10 gigabit, dual HDMI 2.0, and dual USB 2. So, three displays, the HDMI ports top out at 4K60, and the USB 4 at 8K60. Unfortunately, nothing has changed with how you open it. If you hate glued on feet covering screws as much as I do, then we can suffer together. As almost always happens, the glue came off one of the feet, so I just pierced it with the screwdriver. The screw heads used are still too small and not easy to remove. Prying off the lid isn't my idea of a good time either. The lid allows you to mount a 2.5 inch SATA storage drive. What's new over the UM690 I received is this heatsink for the M.2 drive. It's nice and chunky and connected to the board and the NVMe drive with a thermal pad. In many other minis, the heatsink would connect to a metal plate which helps dissipate heat. But this one still uses a plastic cover with rubber on it and the heatsink doesn't even connect to it. So more heat gets stuck inside. The BIOS has an option to clock memory higher, but like all the other non-HX processors, it doesn't do anything. Would probably be better just to hide that option. So that's one area the UM690 had the upper hand. Before I put Windows on it, I checked if Ubuntu had any issues off a USB stick. And the only issue was audio. The Radeon 60M graphics started for 370 which probably needs a driver update. The Mini's Forum UM690 had overheating problems under the board, which was noticeable in gaming where the frame rate would drop after a certain amount of time under load. While I may have been the outlier on mentioning this issue, it didn't change the fact that I was right. Thanks to the other UM690 owners that confirmed my findings by letting me know in the YouTube comments, via email, and links to Reddit threads with the same issue. Also, I was surprised I had to bring up the missing secure boot option with Mini's forum on Twitter and get a BIOS update, as this is a standard feature to be fully compatible with Windows 11. I can at least confirm secure boot is here from day one. So that's something fixed. The Mini's forum UM773 Lite is pretty much a direct competitor against the Intel NUC13 Pro, without the build quality and software support. At least it's much cheaper to make up for it. Another competitor is the B-Link Sir 6 Pro, which at the time I reviewed it featured a 6800H, but has now been upgraded to the same 77 that <sighs> but has now been upgraded to the same 7735HS as found in this mini PC. Shouldn't it be called the Sir 7 Pro? Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, benchmarks. In single core Cinebench, the UM773 performed identically to the UM690. But Intel's NUC13 Pro is far ahead with almost a 23% lead. In multicore, the UM773 came out on top with a 7% lead over the UM690 and 11% faster over the NUC13 Pro. That didn't translate into a win in video encoding though. The result was again identical between the two Mini's forum units 
and around 1% behind the NUC 13 Pro. So CPU performance of the new Ryzen 7 7735HS is very similar to the 6900HX of yesteryear. The top three results in 3 Mark all feature the Radeon 680M integrated graphics, which is the best iGPU that I've reviewed. The results are similar in DX11 and DX12, some small variances not worth mentioning. For the game and emulation comparisons, I'm using the B-Link Sur6 Pro and Intel NUC 13 Pro as the performance was all over the place with the UM690. With the esports title Valorant, any mini will give you a good 144Hz experience. The UM773 and Sur6 Pro perform similarly. Intel's mini might not have had the highest frame rate, but it didn't fluctuate as much. Forza Horizon 5 is close between the AMD Minis, but the 6800H performed a little better in the side-by-side -side comparison. NUC 13 Pro is miles behind. Elden Ring showed no surprises, both AMD Minis are about the same. Intel's Mini does a bit better, but still far behind. In Cyberpunk, it's pretty much the same result as Forza Horizon. Slightly faster on B-Link's unit, and the NUC 13 Pro, far behind. God of War is again like the Elden Ring results. Nothing too unexpected. Okay, things shake up a bit with emulation. The UM773 matches NUC 13 Pro, while the Sur6 Pro is down around 10%. In PS3 emulation, results show the UM773 slightly edging out the Sur6 Pro, and the NUC 13 Pro is at the bottom. Clearly, AMD is leading in the graphics department which puts it ahead in these workloads. Now you're probably wondering, has the drop in frame rate issue from overheating been fixed? Well, no. While the UM773 seems to hold performance better over the UM690, it still starts to lose frames when it hits a certain internal temperature. Here are two examples. Cyberpunk holds a steady frame rate for around 10 minutes. The mini keeps slowly heating up and the frame rate eventually starts dropping. Doom Eternal was worse. The frame rate dropped from the 60s to the lower mid 50s. This didn't happen with the B-Link Sur6 Pro or the Morphine M600 6900HX doing the same test. When I first reviewed the Mini's Forum UM560, which uses the same case design, it featured a mid-range CPU that was drawing much less power. I didn't expect high-end CPUs to actually go into this case. Sure, liquid metal helps get the heat off the CPU, but some of that heat looks to be trapped in the case. Look at the lack of vents on this mini PC compared to an Intel NUC or the B-Link Sur6 Pro. They could and should be much bigger to allow both sides of the board to breathe. And the bottom lid would benefit from being metal for added heat dissipation and make it easier to open while you're at it. Speaking of heat, the liquid metal does its job of keeping the CPU from going any higher than 87C, which is at the bottom of the stack. The added heatsink for the NVMe drive also helped temperatures stay reasonable. Idle power draw at 8 watts is on the lower end, which is good to see. But the maximum of 97 watts puts it in the same power league as a 6900HX. Noise levels are down a little over the UM690. The AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS is basically a Ryzen 9 6900HX in performance, and this mini PC is 110 US dollars cheaper than what I paid for the UM690 seven months ago. It's also nice to see the heatsink added to the NVMe drive. The vertical stand has also been fixed, 
but the Mini still has some performance inconsistencies and the case could do with bigger intake and outtake vents. As a bare bones Mini and its current pricing, the UM773 Lite is hard to beat. However, while I don't like commenting on Minis I haven't tested, based on my experience with the Sur6 Pro, the newer version is likely to be the better option for a pre-build, if the pricing isn't too far off. So the Minis Forum UM773 Lite is an improvement over the UM690. While it still isn't where I'd like it to be, the Mini wins out on price. I don't think it's awesome or amazing, and neither was the UM690, but there aren't a whole lot of options if this is what you're looking for. Before you go, why not check out the B-Link Sur6 Pro review, which should be the same mini PC, just with the upgraded 7735HS CPU. Cheers!